Hey there, ADB024 Aaron here in Oregon. And yesterday, November 4th of 2009, I had the opportunity to go to, uh, I would say, a gay conference. And they had a speaker there, and he was a Harvard grad. And um, he had to, he, he bragged all about how, uh, you know, newspapers are writing articles about him and so forth, whatever. And, yeah, what the conference was about was uh, Oregon and how the gay community, they're uh, starting out how they're going to get marriage legalized in Oregon. And so take a look at it here, a little clip, and notice some um, heavy, heavy criticism of the churches and religion. And then notice uh, the uh, video camera. Yes, news channels were there. And I just wrote a Huffington Post piece about this two weeks ago, quoting him at length is because Bill Clinton not only talked about the fact that he supports the freedom to marry, he talked about why he now supports the freedom to marry. But the fact of the matter is, some of us in that warm, inclusive, respectful day-to-day -day experience are being treated by the law as second-class citizens and are being denied this important safety net. People hear values, they sometimes automatically go to religion. And the truth is, for many of us, our values are delivered through religious instruction, are reinforced through religious celebration, and are expressed in religious language or stories. For many of us, that's not the case. For many of us, our values are grounded in moral understanding and compassion and empathy and a sense of justice. We all understand that there's a difference between religious doctrines, which may differ from faith to faith, and the underlying values that virtually all faiths do share. And so in these conversations, we're not really having an argument with people about their religion. We don't have to persuade them that their religion is somehow wrong, because what we really want to talk with them about is their values. The values, as Bill Clinton described, of fairness, inclusion, respect for others. All right, guys, did you notice? You noticed uh, religion, uh, heavy criticism on that. Now, don't get me wrong here. Believe it or not, I am for equal rights of gays. But you know what? I'm for equal rights of all people. I'm for equal rights of that 30-year-old woman, single woman, who's not married, who uh, probably will never marry because she can't find the right man for her, or that single man who can never find the uh, right woman for him. He's never going to marry, so he's never going to get the benefits of marriage. But, you know, it may not be his fault, really. Maybe there is no one for him. What about the, uh, the seven-year-old grandma whose husband dies? Suddenly now, you know, she doesn't have the benefits of being married. So there's many people out there in the same situation as the gay couples. But no one wants to talk about them. So, what I'm for is, you know, altering the tax code so it's fair to everyone. There's a, you know, there's a people out there that like a flat tax, which then it wouldn't matter if you're married or not. There's a people out there that don't want to tax at all, like if you look at Ron Paul. But then, uh, you know, what What else? I mean, these corporations, I mean, they're discriminating against the people who aren't married by going, oh, yeah, sure, we'll give you an insurance discount because you're married. Why? Why? Why should they be given discounts to people who are married and people who aren't have to pay more? And there's many more uh, situations, but can be changed. So people without being married can have equal rights as people being married. And But, and People know this, but what I see, like this Harvard grad from, uh, you know, he's a New World Order communist, and he's using the gay community to push forward hate towards uh, the churches and religion. Um, and Ob Obama sees this, too. Um, this is a way that, uh, you know, and uh, social you got to get rid of the churches in a socialist, communist-ruled uh, country like a USSA is becoming. So uh, they're using the uh, gay community to push that initiative on the people, and pretty soon I think you, you'll, yeah, you'll have uh, these hatred churches being burnt down, you know, because they they're not diverse and they uh, against uh, marriage and discriminating against people, right? 
But uh, there's other ways to go about it, and that's just what I'm trying to get out there. We can have equal rights without, you know, gays getting married, and, you know, there's many other people out there in the same situation that may never get married, and they shouldn't be discriminated against either. So, uh, equal rights without it. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, marriage is a religious ceremony. It has been, it is, it is all about uh, biblical. It is, uh, when uh, gays are getting married, it's against God's word. So, therefore, when I look at it, I look at it a mockery of marriage and of religion. So, I see it infringing upon the uh, freedom of religion. So, that's what I, I do see. It's uh, infringing on the freedom of religion. Now, did you notice at this uh, conference here, this was at the Eugene Public Library, and did you also notice there was news? There was news. There were being the news. I heard about this through the news. Even on the conservative, I would call it the conservative uh, AM radio, I heard advertisement about this. I heard it, I watched it even on uh, local news. Advertising, oh, this event's coming up, this event's coming up. And who sponsored it was your public library. Now why? Why? Why an event like that gets so much media coverage? And you got these tea parties that these people are emailing these media outlets every single day to get some coverage and they can't. So why why such a one-sided thing for something that's stupid and it's obvious is only to push a more communist uh, rule over this country. So uh, it really pisses me off about that. And then I was told, I was told that I couldn't videotape there. Yet the... Uh, the actual news channel could videotape, but you know I wasn't allowed to. So there you have local um, controlled media. So they're only allowing uh, people to see what they want, even of this uh, gay conference. You know, you know I'm not the 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 gays are there to stay, and I'm for that. You know, I'm they're not going to disappear, and you know everyone does deserve equal rights in America so uh... but I see uh, there's definitely different ways upon doing it than uh... infringing upon uh, freedoms of religion